how can you rave about that? Right. You, you, can't, you, you can put little to no stock. I don't even know what to take away for Green Bay, except they got the W. Right. And that's big. And you got a first-time head coach right. who's 39 years old, so he got a dub. Yeah, and, and for me, Skip, that's what, that's what I was saying. I'm not really – because I do think the Packers moving forward, Skip, they can put pressure with the two Smith guys um, uh, on the quarterback. But I'm not really ready to pass out a bouquet and say, you arrived now, because mm. I thought Mitchell Trubisky was so bad. And he had – uh, Green Bay picked him early in the game, and the guy ended up dropping the interception once he hit the ground. He did. I'm like, dude, what are you? Th I don't know. You're falling up your back foot, and you try to throw a pass to Cordell Patterson. Mm -hmm. That's not what he got. Come on, really, Mitch? And I thought, it's Matt. Funny, you take a guy out of the New England Patriots uniform, and you put him in a Bears <laughs> uniform, and all of a sudden he looks not very good, right? Skip, you got to understand. You see how they used him? Mm -hmm. They used him on jailbreak screens. They used him on reverses. Mm -hmm. And now he goes to Chicago and they try to turn him into a conventional receiver. And that's not what he One is. One time they just hand him the ball up the gut. And on 31. And stymied. And right? then on another, mm -hmm. I thought Matt Nagy might have had one of his worst games play calling, Skip. Skip, on third and half a yard, mm -hmm. you run to try to slide the uh, tight end yep. out. You don't give him a second option if the tight end's not there. Yep. And then Matt Nagy, uh, and then uh, uh, Trubisky gets stopped. Come on. Mm -hmm. And then you go for it on fourth down. What, what, is, what, is, what is that all about? I don't know. Come on, Matt Nagy. The, got... the, they wound up with a first and 40, 40. which became second, second and 40, 40, which became third and 40. Yeah, it, and Matt it, Nagy says after the game, I, I don't have a third and 40 play. Nobody you know, like does. <laughs> you, see, if that, you have like third and long, and that's normally between <laughs> 10 to 13 yards. Third and 40, what play you want to call? Okay. Hey, Coach, just run a draw. Okay, it, it, so, it was it was really bad on Chicago's part. I, I want to give props to Aaron Rodgers because usually after a game like that, he would get defensive about any negative questions about their offense, mm -hmm. and he immediately started getting negative questions, and he just absorbed them. He took them. He he almost welcomed them because he wanted to rave about the defense. Right. But there wasn't much to brag about no, offensively. No. So he goes. Two of 12 on third down, yeah. so he wasn't any great shakes either yeah. on, on any big downs. He, he completes 18 of 30, which is only 60%, which is not, not great. 203 yards, not... No, Very not, dackish. Come on. Really? Very dackish. Huh. Oh, wait. The Dak, who over the last 10 games last year, had the most completions in the NFL? All I'm saying, huh. Skip Bayless, is that based on his history, that was a very Dak-like performance. Really? Okay. So... 2 of 12 on third down, and after the first quarter, three series in the first quarter, they had minus 12 yards, and to your opening point, I don't know what Aaron was doing. You want to talk about wild low? He's just throwing them in the dirt, and it looked scary bad. The Bears have a really good defense. They do. But, but I, I give you but that. But I thought some, on some plays, Aaron trying to make big plays down the field held onto the ball a little bit too long. Mm. And he's going to have to get away from that, Skip. Some, the, the thing is, is that now, and I believe he will because he, he believes that they have a good defense. And I believe one of the reasons he could remain so positive is because they had won the game. Yep. Because had they not won the game and he stunk it up like that, mm -hmm. I don't know if he would have been as positive or put up a positive, positive spin mm -hmm. on it as he was able to. Mm -hmm. But because the defense played so well, like I said, they played well. But are they really this good? or Trubisky was just that bad last night. That bad. We will see moving forward. But I believe with the two additions of the two Smith, and that's what, Skip, that's all you can really hope for. When you go out into the free agent market and you sign guys, you want to see them pay immediate dividends. Mm -hmm. They saw money well spent. Mm -hmm. with, because for the longest time, Ted Thompson didn't believe in, you know, paying off. I want to develop my guys where everybody else is going to get free agents and putting themselves over the top. He's developing, developing, and developing. But what happens when these guys don't develop? Mm. Well, Green Bay's like, forget that. We got Aaron Rodgers. We don't know how many more years. Well, they signed him to an extension. But let's just say five-year window. Let's see how good we can get. Give him some help defensively. Mm. But because I think Ted Thompson and Mike McCarthy squandered a lot of Aaron Rodgers' prime years mm. by not having a defense that I believe okay. is so, going to be formidable. Uh, Shannon Sharp just said no more excuses for Aaron Rodgers. No, 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 year, no. Right? No. That's what you just said. Yeah. So it's, that's over. So yeah. I love that. We got that on the record early on. Oh my goodness. And by the way, on offense last night, it became a two throw game for Aaron Rodgers. Yes. So early in the second quarter, it's first and 10 at their 26, 
and I did see a little whipped cream movement, if we could see that play that goes for 47 yards to Valdez Scantling. It's a little fake reverse action, so you did throw that in there. But when Aaron let go of this ball, it looked like a Hail Mary to me because it looked like it almost slipped out of his it, hands. It looked like I, I thought it was a little duckish, like he just heaved it and it, it, he didn't have the best grip on it. But Valdez Scantling, by the way, is six feet four inches tall, and somehow the ball just dropped straight out of the sky right into his hands. Mm -hmm. So I got to give you that one. Right. And that sets up what becomes the eight yard touchdown pass to Jimmy Graham, as you see ball. right there. It's just as soon as it left his hands, I said, that's going to be intercepted. That was my gut right. feeling because there's, there are bears lurking everywhere, except he threw it just up high enough. And Jimmy Graham seemed to be the only one in that crowd who wanted that football. Skip, I thought he was throwing the ball to Geronimo Allison. Yep. 81 in the back. I yep. don't. I don't because the way he lofted it, like he was trying to catch him at the back of the end zone, yep. and then Jimmy Graham just happens to jump up and, and take it away from him. Yep. But he did, Aaron didn't play his best game, Skip, and mm -hmm. I, I think he understands that. He knows moving forward he's going to have to play much better. I believe he will. But given the fact that they won a ball game against that team mm -hmm. with that type of defense on the road, when he didn't play his best game, you, you know they can improve. You that. And then guess what? They got a week off now. Okay. And obviously, the Bears' defense is is so good, it's going to keep them in just about every, every game. Every game. Every game. And the quarterback is going to lose them a bunch of games and leave Bears Nation extremely frustrated. Yeah, watching that game, I was like, man, I can imagine how in 2000 how Ray them felt. Right. You give up to Ray, I mean, Ray you, Lewis. Ray yep. Lewis in that yep. Baltimore defense yep. with Rob Wilson. And you were on the offense. I was on the offensive side. And skip. the quarterback was? Well, we started out with Tony Banks and yep. ended up with Trent Dilfer. Okay. But imagine you give up 10 points to Aaron Rodgers. Anytime you can give up 10 points to Aaron Rodgers or Brady or Breeze or one of these top flight quarterbacks, exactly. you say, we got to win this game. Got to win it. You got to win. Yep. Because if you can hold an offense, basically you're saying if we can hold an offense to under 17, we should win the ball game. And that's what they did last year. They gave up the fewest points, averaged about 17 points a game. What well, they did, just touched down better in this game, mm -hmm. and somehow you lost. You only got three points? Yep. Three and, points. And remember, they sacked Aaron five times, right. which I think tied for the most of any game against Aaron right. for the Bears. And that should be good enough, two of 12 on third down. You should, you should win that game at home. Not when you right? go three of 15 on third down. Yep. And that's what okay. Trubisky did. All right, so Matt LaFleur's new, newfangled offense, you saw what? I saw a lot of what Aaron Rodgers does. They still depend. I don't know if the, the Bears are really stout. But, Skip, they didn't really try to run the football. I mean, they come out like, and, and at the end, they were just trying to run the football to try four, to run. 47 yards rushing. Did great. On 22 right? carries, mm -hmm. so basically two okay. yards a carry. All right. What is that? You're not, I'm telling you, you're not going to win very many games with that kind of mm -hmm. average. And that few, I mean, they, they were like running the ball because they wanted to give Aaron a chance to rest his arm. Mm -hmm. they, not, they weren't running the ball with intent. They weren't running the ball with purpose. They're like, okay, let's throw a running here. Yep. So we can, so because the next two times we're going to throw the ball. That's not the way you win football games. But Aaron is happy that he has a defense. He's like, oh, oh, so now I see why Tom Brady been winning all them championships. Mm. If you can hold, what you yeah, if you can hold somebody to three points, because mm. if I'm not mistaken, mm. the team in the Super Bowl that they beat only scored three points. Mm. Aaron Rodgers said, I can get you 10, mm. which would have been a win. Mm. Does New England play Mitch Trubisky every oh, game? They play a Jared Goff, who looked a lot like Mitch mm. Trubisky. He had a bad game. Oh, okay. And that was the basically the same defense that, that just the Super Bowl before had allowed 40 to the backup quarterback for the Eagles. 40 points. And Tom Brady scored 33 and went home from close. Hold on. I scored 33 points and we lost because he benched Malcolm Butler? Yeah. For no apparent and reason. Coach, and Coach Belichick said, we had, could have been 19 and 0, mm. and we only scored 17 points. Mm. We only scored 17 points. Mm. Yeah. Did they win? Did he score enough? You did he go Mitchell Trubisky and uh, not score enough? Hold on. Mitchell Trubisky. Did they lose three to nothing? Can no, they be, won. If you don't mind me, yeah. Mitchell Trubisky was fourth in QBR last year. Mm. You love that stat. Mm. I have no idea how. Yeah, you, you do know how. I don't. You do know I how. I didn't like him before the draft, and I like him less now. <laughs> and I'm on the no, record with you, that. You like him less now. Now, you'd have loved it had he been able to pull the upset over Aaron. They were better on defense than I thought they were. They were. They're, they're decent on defense. But I'm going to give you no more than decent because... Uh, as I also tweeted last night, Aaron Rodgers didn't need his state farm policy or agent last night during that game, but he's going to need it on October the 6th. You know what that? Ooh, oh, yeah, that defense flying around. Week five.
You know where that is? Y'all taking the L. Jerry World. You better bring your State Farm agent for that game because some bad things might <laughs> you happen see, in that, that game. They don't got, you yeah. see who else in the State yeah. Farm commercials? Not who, huh? Uh, Old Pat Mahone. Uh, he, hey, you, he made an appearance. Didn't have much to say. And hey, you see what they're saying? Yeah. What they call him? Old uh, Pat Mahomey. Mahomey? Y'all going to y'all gonna, y'all gonna short me? Y'all don't have my homeboy. I just want to know, when is Aaron going to get a new football agent? Because that guy's pretty goofy. No, no, no. Huh? Watch. Huh? The Packers going to be a tough out, Skip. They yeah. might be. They might. Really? They you might switch your they pick? Might, I might. Because we're about to make Super Bowl picks here in just a few minutes. I might. Yeah? Are you thinking? You, you're you starting to go there, I think. I, the one thing that I'm not that you are, prisoner of the moment. Really? Yeah, you be, get captivated by it. Prisoner of the moment? I never flip. I never switch. I dig in, and you cannot dig me out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You dug in on the Bears beating Aaron Rodgers, and you couldn't. I could didn't d- dig in. Yeah. I just, that's just one night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You got me. <laughs> and we bet what on it? Nothing. Because you were scared. Nothing. You were scared. No, you were, I, I'm not betting no do on no Mitchell Trubisky. I, you didn't bring it up because you were scared, too. No, I wasn't scared. Yeah? <laughs> Skip, I'm not picking, I'm not taking Mitchell Trubisky against Aaron You're Rodgers. the one who makes all the bets that Okay, I'll give you two right now. I'll give you two. The you can have seven. the Giants in two. You the, just said a couple of points. The line is seven You were trying to go yesterday into the Giants are going to steal this. Hey. <laughs> huh? I'll give you two right now. Mm-mm. I want the line. Give me the line. The line? Yeah. I, you just, why would I give you the line when you just said give me a couple? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I was thinking a couple of touchdowns, but I'll, I'll oh. do the line. Oh, somebody is already <laughs> equivocating. No, 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 no. But you want me to give you two points when the line is seven and a half? You said it. I didn't. Seven and a half. You were saying yesterday it's going to be the upset of the century. With a couple of points, it might just be. All right. All that good birthday cheer evaporated that quickly. Yeah, it did. All right. Well, a long week for these two teams to try to rebound. They don't play again until next Sunday. Green Bay will be welcoming the Vikings, and the Bears will be traveling to Denver. Up next for us, will Antonio Brown's Mm. run with the Raiders end before he ever Mm. even plays a game? Mm. That's up next. Don't forget, you can check us out every day on the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. We'll be right back.